Hello, hello, hello. Lane Smith Brown of WeirdHummingbirds.com. And I'm glad to see you. I can visualize some of you out there. And uh, glad to spend a couple of minutes with you. So there you go. Um, we've been in uh, the place that we live right now for about three years or so. Bought the property back in 2007 and then spent quite a bit of time away while we rented this place out and we've been back for the last three years in the middle of all kinds of renovations and getting to know people all over again and and it's been good and uh we had before we actually came here we were selling a piece of property that was out uh in the country and uh, we'd been trying to sell that property for about three years we'd spent a whole bunch of years fixing it up and uh, turning it into quite a beautiful beautiful place it was in a great location and uh and we had lots of people come and show interest and uh, they would fall in love with the place. It met all the, the needs that they had. It was exciting and we were so hopeful. For three years, we probably experienced a hundred people making that decision. They had, uh, they'd come, they'd experience the peace and the quiet, the pretty little house, the beautiful property and say, you know, within a week, you're gonna get, a, get an offer. <clears throat> then it never happened. And we're aware of of uh, how our energy creates uh, our experiences. And we were often in these conversations about, um, are we holding on to this place in some way? Are we somehow um, doing something by our energy, by our state, by our, our expectations that are pushing away buyers on some level, like so that we feel stuck on this property because what we really wanted to do was get back to the mountains where we both feel most at home. Now this property was large, it was like a quarter section so it was like half mile by a half mile and we had already done the work of subdividing the little homestead, about 12 acres, out of that larger piece of property but in our hearts we so wanted somebody to keep that parcel intact. Uh, a lot of that reason was because there were elk and deer on the property and foxes and all kinds of wonderful things. The land was organic and that meant something to us. We had protected it. We had kind of redeemed it over the probably 15 years that we were there. These are the things that were important to us. And so as a result of wanting that so badly, we focused all of our energy on wanting someone to value what we valued and buy that whole quarter section intact. <clears throat> and through a very, like a whole bunch of different conversations, we were always kind of trying to understand exactly what was going on and, and what our responsibility was in getting out of the way so that this could happen. And one day we just had the question of, why do we think that we know what this place wants for itself. Why are we assuming that we know better than it? Now, I believe that land has energy and everything has energy. Every, everything has an experience uh, that might seem whack to some of you and for some of you that's gonna resonate. So what ended up happening is we just released that land to do what it needed to do, to call who it needed to call for the next iteration of itself. And so we listed the agricultural land separately and the house and yard site as another listing. We'd already done all of that work. All we needed to do was post it and it was done. Inside of two weeks, both of those pieces of property was sold gone. We had struggled to sell that property for three years. And when we let go of our own expectations about how that was going to happen and who the people were going to be that took over, 
we had put so much ownership in the outcome of that thing that for three years it sat unsold. When we released our own personal expectations of what needed to happen next, it was sold effortlessly sold and we sold it for more than we were expecting to sell it for. Is that not an amazing story? It's made me very, very aware when I come up with an agenda. Now I'm a planner. I, I love understanding what's going to happen next, but all of the freedom I've learned this over time, all of the freedom happens when you can let go of your attachment to what's going to happen next. It still worked for me, but it has never disappointed me when I've gotten myself to this place where I actually let go and just let something new unfold. There's a level of amazingness that unfolds, stuff that I couldn't have considered. It's too long a story for me to even tell you how the, the couple that ended up buying the homestead, how they even heard about us. They not, saw no ad. They had no idea this place was for sale, but it was the perfect place for them to land. And through a very weird set of circumstances, boom, I got a phone call. They wanted to see it. And inside of 20 minutes of seeing the place, we got a full price offer. How amazing is that? Can you connect that to anything in your life where you've been trying to control the outcome and things aren't working out in any good way for you? Do you think it's something you need to let go of? You think you need to just allow it to do what it needs to do and you can mind your business and move into a, a different area of your life? It's a good question. It's a good exercise. At least it has been for me. I hope it's helpful to somebody out there. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.